One Charlie. Mark, one Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm full of optimism. Einstein's theory of relativity. And we're still seeing it quite well through that haze. T minus 37 seconds. The fight is growing. E equals MC. That all men are created about the future innovations. And growing strength in the air. Ignition sequence. Tear down this way. Head on. And something's happening, coming up on stage. This is Finding Your Frequency. With your hosts, Jeff Spinard and Ryan Treasure. It's time to speak up, share your voice, and hear from the thought leaders. Welcome to Finding Your Frequency. My name is Jeff Spinard. I am your host. I am also the CEO and president of World Talk Radio, home to the Voice America Talk Radio and TV networks. Joining me, of course, my co-host, 12-year colleague, 17-year veteran, and vice president of broadcast operations here at Voice America, Mr. Ryan Treasure. Ryan, welcome. Jeff, thank you. Uh, what a great Friday it is. Uh, coming back off of a little hiatus from last week, but we had a great show that we got to replay in the time slot while we were out uh, traveling over in uh, in Los Angeles and doing the Influencers Unite. Uh, Good old uh, Dana Point by the harbor. It was a beautiful scene. It was uh, it was a great event. Yeah, it really was a great event, and uh, we have a lot of video assets that we just transferred over yep. to our editor, and uh, he'll be working on uh, red carpet interviews and as well as some of the broken up interviews yep. from the live broadcast on uh, VoiceAmerica.tv. Check Absolutely. it out. Absolutely, and we'll we'll have all that uh, information, we'll have all that content up uh, within the next uh, several days. Last week, uh, of course, we were in Dana Point, but we did a rebroadcast of the show we did the week before, uh, which we had Shemaine Nugent and Gary Miller on the show. Yeah, that was a really good show. Um, I really especially like talking with Shemaine yeah. and, uh, and, and you know, kind of talking about the four minutes to rock and roll, your way to uh, health, and, and, and uh, got a nice challenge with her. And I know she's going to be coming on board as we kick off uh, our health segment here yeah. in the next couple of weeks. We're, we're working on getting all the pieces together exactly. now. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Once we have this put together, uh, we are on our way to healthy living uh, which I am so looking forward to. Uh, but yes, I talked to Shemaine yesterday. We're going to bring the show over. Uh, and the, the beautiful part about this is that she wants to get Ted involved. For those of you who don't know Ted Nugent, oh, you have to know Ted Nugent, so I'm not <laughs> even going to go into that. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be a very versatile show uh, where it'll be health, it'll be rock and roll, it'll be uh, hunting, it'll be uh, a, a very diverse uh, show with uh, much content. So I'm looking forward to that. We talked to Gary Miller. Now, Gary Miller has produced uh, people like Elton John, Journey, uh, Sting. Uh, so yep. it's such a rich history, such a rich rock and roll history. Yeah, his his group found Kylie Minogue, yeah. you know, which is a multiple platinum recording artist who's got a couple of Grammys and uh, you know, he's Katy he's, Perry. <laughs> no, I mean, very uh, he diverse. worked with her, yeah. Right. Um they their group and uh and and Gary Miller's folks have just really produced some solid music that um have spanned several generations. Yeah. Um you know, the uh your generation, Generation X and uh all of that, my generation. Been I'm fantastic music about my generation. <laughs> <laughs> the who, the who. So yeah, so we're uh, we're getting going. Uh, we went to the Influencers Unite dinner and mixer uh, last week at Dana Point. It was a spectacular event. Uh, it's leading up, and what Voice America is doing is we are creating the Influencers Channel. Now the Influencers Channel is going to be content from uh, some of the top 25 influencers around the world. So this is going to be uh, something that Voice America is stepping into that is different than what we've done over the years. So I'm yeah. really excited uh, to talk to the audience and, and share more with people 
but that will come as we move along. Yeah, I'm extremely excited for the Influencers Channel too. And, uh, you know, I kind of feel like it's also coming at the right time uh, while there's a shift right now in online media with the term influencers right. and it being a, a more widely used term. And uh, my wife and I were talking about this last night and one of our Facebook friends who's a music producer here locally in the Phoenix area put out a post basically asking his social media group, like, what is this thing called influencers yeah. that I've never heard of before? Um, and I felt all special because I was able to get on and explain to him in a social post, you know, what influencers are in the realm of digital media, you know, whether it be social media influencers or people that are doing influential things, leveraging digital content. Uh, and, and it was well received and pretty cool. And, I, and I directed him over to our radio show, of course, to find out more about influencers. And there you go. So if you, t- I hope he's tuning in today and, you know, this will be uh, something that will be helpful because we have some influencers that will be a part of the show today. But, you know, <laughs> Voice America is not new to no. uh, influencers yeah, you know. as a whole. You know, we've been producing and creating content around right. people who are influential for some time. It just has never been a coined uh, 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 pop culture term right. like influencers is now. It really is cool because when we show up at events, Voice America is an influencer as well. So, you know, when you talk about influencers influencing other influencers, it's all about building and growing and sharing the knowledge that's going to help somebody else to help somebody else. Right, right. And that's one of the premises behind the model of what Voice America right. has been doing, you know, for some time, starting out with, you know, uh, uh, back when John Gray was first introducing yep. his digital assets and we were working with the public company and, uh, you know, really building and growing and working with those influencers at that time and have really prospered over the years and, you yep. know, launched more channels and working with more hosts and to be able to take all of those folks that we've been connecting with over the last couple of months and uh, along with the channel and put them all in one place so the audience can really uh, leverage that content for their own good. It's just a fantastic uh, uh, idea and kudos. Kudos, Mr. Total total, total, (laughs) Kudos to everybody. I mean, you know, you're my right hand. You handle a lot of, you handle everything come broadcast. But you talk about the rich history of Voice America. You know, I can, can still remember you know, having a two-month conversation <laughs> with the board of directors for Edutopia, which is, which is George Lucas's foundation. We've come a long way since we had yeah. the, uh, the $99 mixer and microphone <laughs> taped to the wall, right? <laughs> yes, and get that out, read that article in Easy Way magazine. Absolutely. Great article. But, yeah, I mean, you know, working with guys like Pat Summerall, Jack LaLanne, Eddie George, Daryl Green. I mean, the, the, it goes on and on, the people we've worked with. Now just imagine all of those people under one umbrella. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah. You know, and um, we can talk about the influencers channel all day long. It's fantastic. One thing, I, I got to slip this in there because we have True. some cool stuff that's coming up uh, for Voice America in, in the next month or so. One of which uh, is our live broadcast that we're going to be doing at IAAI out yes. of Las Vegas, uh, which is all about uh, uh, arson <laughs> investigation. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty cool event as we get some of the thought leaders in uh, arson investigation, do some live interviews, wrap that around uh, a radio show that will broadcast at the same time. So We'll do a nice little simulcast, but uh, really excited. And then again in Vegas later on in April. This is the big one. This and, is the uh, big one, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm spilling the beans again, <laughs> uh, spilling the beans with uh, National Association of Broadcasters show that's uh, in April, and we will be broadcasting live from the Advanced mm-hmm. Advertising Pavilion there. Uh, and we're talking keynote speakers, uh, big folks that are running CBS Interactive and Warner Brothers Media uh, and, and really learning about how uh, the big boys in the space are leveraging digital. And one of the things that we learned last year was, you know, we were right on par and on course with some of the things that those guys were doing. And if not, maybe even ahead. a little bit ahead. Yep, you know, yep. people were looking at us like, oh, okay, you guys know what's going on here. So this is our playground. You know, yep. this is everybody in the industry, in the media industry is there, whether it's, you know, uh, technology companies, Broadcast companies, big network affiliates, they're all there. You're right. Last month, last year, the panels that were put together, spectacular. They were influencers. Yes, they were. You're talking <laughs> about the top podcasters, the top Snapchatters. You're looking at, you know, we had 
uh, what the directors or the producers of The Walking Dead. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know HBO, the production company behind yeah. all of it, the writers, the directors, really the you know the creative entourage that came yep. in together to bring all of it, and it's just it's crazy. We have more even bigger events too coming up after that. We have uh, we have the California Women's Conference that's mm -hmm. going to happen in May where we'll be out there broadcasting, uh, and this is a special one because normally when we broadcast we do interviews and they're one off on site. This one's going to be even even more expansive because we're going to be actually broadcasting all of the keynote speakers from the stage through the broadcast and then after they get done they'll be coming to our booth and sitting down for a one on one that they get to do with other Voice America women's hosts uh, live on site so excited about that it's fantastic and we can bring it all to you and that's that's what the the special part about this is not only will we be there on uh, on site live but you know if you happen to miss it you can always get that on demand 24-7 anytime you want. That's what makes it so special. So, hey, yeah, kudos, kudos. Absolutely. It's really going to be great. And, uh, you know, while we kind of get towards the end of this, we're rolling up on the commercial break. I know we're a little minute early, but uh, we're going to go to commercial break now. So okay. that way we can uh, save a little bit of time on the other side for uh, some interesting conversations with our guests um, as we're tuning in right here to Finding Your Frequency on the Voice America Variety Channel. Don't forget to go check out the uh, the fantastic new Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Finding Your Frequency Net. Also, all the information about the radio show and what we have going on is on findingyourfrequency.com as well as jeffspinard.com. Go check us out on social media, facebook.com forward slash Voice America Talk Radio at Radio Ryan 1 at Jeff Spinney 2. We'll be right back right after these messages with Finding Your Frequency. And welcome back to Finding Your Frequency. I'm your host, Jeff Spinard. I'm your co-host, Ryan Treasure. Welcome back from the commercial break. Appreciate you guys' time. And you're listening to Finding Your Frequency, and we're about to get into our first guest on the show. You got lost on me there for a Just second. Just for a second, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to read the instant messenger. I got the executive producer sending me messages. Got all kinds of things just <laughs> happening here. Okay. Well, uh, we have our guest who is in studio with us now. Uh, Clarissa Burt is an award-winning actress, international media personality, Producer, director, writer, author, public speaker, and supermodel, with hundreds of television and film credits to her name. This who's who of international and American women brings over 30 years of entertainment industry experience in both international and American markets. You can follow Clarissa on VoiceAmerica.com influencers channel yeah, starting baby. <laughs> starting May second. <laughs> yes, so. you can. Welcome yes, aboard, Clarissa. Well, it's good to have you, you back. Have by me the back, way. right? Yes. You guys remember back in the day when I started? We have yes. a history. Was we it go back like seven years. Six, seven? Six or like seven, that. yeah. It 2000? was got to be going back. We're, yes. so we're in 17 now. With, oh, 10 years. With Clarissa Burt Talks. Ooh. And we started then. I had just moved back to the United yep. States at the time from Europe. And uh, and we were we we're long lost friends. It's so uh, yes, good to see you guys are. again. It, it was great to, to see you come back in. And now to become a, a, a big part of Voice. The what I see is a big part of Voice Thank America. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome back. So tell us, what have you been doing all these years? Um, laying around on the couch, eating yeah. a lot of chocolates. There you go. I love chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Gosh, you know, I've just been um, doing a lot of traveling as I normally do, and uh, and um, you know, just relaunching the the whole brand here in the United mm -hmm. States, which has been just a lot of work but a lot of fun. It's a lifestyle brand that helps uh, women, especially, look look good, right. feel good, be good, and live a greater good. And uh, and I'm just you know building products around all of those different things, awesome. and it's just been. It's been fun. It's been really great. I'm so thrilled. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, you speak about the women's. We talked about the women's, uh, uh, the California, California Women's, women's Conference. Conference yeah. Up, where we'll be broadcasting I from. Know. Are you mm -hmm. coming? Yeah, I'm yes. on the board there. Perfect. Awesome. I'm on the advisory yeah. board with Michelle. So, yeah, I'd be yes. thrilled to be awesome. there. Yeah, we yeah. met Michelle at the Wonder Woman she Tech something? Conference. When we I know. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, great. Yeah. Awesome. I'm, I'm yeah. so happy that you're going to be there for the And I was event. supposed to be at Wonder Woman, but I, I didn't <laughs> go last year. I was at the one before that in Los Angeles. That's right. This event is a little bit bigger than the Wonder Woman Tech Conference. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah. it's Maybe a 
lot of it. Bigger. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty big, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. A lot of great women, great speakers. I it's think a it's fabulous the largest. Event uh, it's the largest uh, women's conference in the United States. I believe it is. Yeah. I believe it is. I'm so excited that's, about it. Yeah. We have 15 Voice America people right. that are going to be at the event. What? So it's going to be great. We have all this we've stuff in, set we've up. We've infiltrated. Yeah, no we, kidding. We, yeah, we got. Uh, we have an agreement with them now where we're actually going to be uh, exclusive on the broadcast I side. Know, we're going to be able to broadcast the uh, keynote on the stage, and then uh, so exciting. all those folks are going to come off the stage, yeah, and then we'll bring on all of the Voice America women's hosts to do little one-off interviews and with I'll those be, folks. Yes, You'll I'll be there. Be there with like with like microphone a, in hand. And, three film, and, and, and we'll be filming it all, too. We'll you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but when I was little, you know, my, my I, you probably, you know, uh, but when I was little, my um, parents and grandparents used to tell me that I was vaccinated with a phonograph needle. <laughs> so just there give me go. a microphone, and I'm good to go. <laughs> yes. Off and running, right. <laughs> well, we'll get along well, because I feel the same way. Just give me a microphone, microphone and, and give me a go. stage, and yeah. we'll rock and there roll. There you go. Good there you go. go. You know, Clarissa, you've been a, a star on pretty much every continent in so many ways. What keeps you grounded when you're traveling all over the planet doing so many things? Uh, you know, you just have to be really passionate about what you do, and you have to love um, what you do. I love meeting people all over the place. I love, you know, getting different points of view and and keeping in contact with a lot of a lot of people. You know, my major market is really the woman's market, right. and so women are so they're so varied and so diverse, and they have so many amazing stories, mm. and. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, they always, you know, you always hear a lot about women being so awful to one another and bitchy to one another and mean girls and all of that, that sort of thing. And I'm going to tell you, in my long history, I really don't think I've come across a lot of that. And I think it's because, um, you know, you, you can also help diffuse a lot of times some of the attitudes that are coming at you if you yeah. just if you just handle stuff right, you know. I mean, people going to be having a bad day. You know, women, you guys know women, right? I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not barking up a tree. Try uh, to, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you know. Sometimes you just have when you just you're good at diffusing and just being yourself all the time, and and just you know staying true to who you are. It just comes because so of a little it's like easier. don't sweat the small stuff. That's right. right. Don't so sweat what, the small stuff. So what is it with the women? Why don't they get along? What, what's that? What's that barrier? You know, I don't think it's every woman, and I you know as I said before, I don't think it's everybody. But there certainly are you know there's a certain amount of women. It's a competition, obviously. It's mm-hmm. jealousy for territorial. sure. Yeah, ter- very territorial. Territorial. territorial yes. uh, and uh, you know, guys are the same way. I of mean, course. they definitely are. I mean, it's just it's just about you know being able to um, evolve a little bit as a human being, and and you know I like to call what I do it's women's uh, development through personal envelopment. And when I say ah, I envelopment, it. it's really the love of self first and foremost. Right. And when you're right. really confident with who you are and what you're doing, who what you stand for, yeah. you, you know, you're, it's like you can't you can't bowl down that bowling pin that just doesn't yeah, want to go. Your life is true. life is easy. Life at that is point. easier, right. you know. All you of just, life you just should roll with there it. There you go. Jeff and I did a show back in February uh, that was right after Valentine's Day and it was like a relationship show. We had Rochelle Kako on who's a relationship mm-hmm. expert for right. the stars in Hollywood right. and then we had a, a, a Dr. London on Dr. as well, London, so it was right. really cool. Right. And you echoed exactly what both of them them said, said about yeah. that love for self yeah. because you have to have that in right. order to be able to you know uh, uh, manage the relationship right. whether it's a man on man woman woman whatever the relationship yeah, is, is. Yeah. You gotta love yourself. Right. I've got a book coming out uh, the end of this year um, hopefully it'll be in the fall and uh, we're working on it right now it's called the self esteem regime Beautiful. and it really is just you know a regime gets a bad you know, kind of gets it's a, has a bad connotation mm-hmm. due to the war but it really means just nothing more than an organized way of doing things right. and if you can organize you know yourself uh in different ways and and use the tools and resources that uh, I help you with in the book. Um, And we have a lot of also case studies of different women that uh, come to the table and give us their stories and their their overcoming, you know, kind of stories. And it's, it's very, I think the book is very inspiring. I really do think it'll help a lot of women of all ages. Absolutely. That's uh, amazing. And where, uh, where will the book be available for people to get? Well, uh, we're talking, I've, (laughs) <laughs> uh, We're hopefully, there, no, right? no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I really think I have a literary agent in New York City right now. Is a lovely woman. I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to blow it before. I'd like to show, share that on my own show, if you don't mind. Okay. But, uh, All right. <laughs> there you go. But, you got to uh, save some but, of the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, but right. it's, uh, it's the self-esteem regime. She was really taken, very taken, uh, I think, with the project. And so I'm very excited. And hopefully she wants to shop it to the top five nice. uh, in New York City. So I'm really hopeful that that's going to happen. In the meantime, for all of you celiacs, I've got another book coming out. <laughs> 
<laughs> called the uh, gluten free. The Italian gluten free gastronomy is coming nice. out in the next nice. couple Glu- of weeks. Yeah. Gluten free Gast- Italian. That's yeah, got to be tough, right? I know. Have you ever heard that before? <laughs> well, you know, one of our executive producers has this whole gluten thing, so right. she'll tell me about you know making gluten free right. pasta and oh, some sure. of those things. But I mean, most Italian food is gluten filled, <laughs> not gluten free. Gluten so filled, that, that, and you're absolutely right. Until be, it almost killed me. That had to be tough me. to come up with uh, all of it the. It almost yeah. killed me, and I wound up many times in the emergency room not knowing what was going on. When we wow. found out what it was, I figured I'd help spread the word. <laughs> That's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Now, Clarissa, you have such a resume, you know, success all over the place, awards, accolades. What's been your proudest moment? Gosh, you know, I think I think the proudest moment was when I, uh, gosh, when I, first of all, as, as a model, it was, <laughs> You know, modeling in the modeling career, <clears throat> it was coming home with you know a, a lot of covers, you know, mm, magazine right. covers. I think, uh, you know, people ask me how many I, two hundred and fifty. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the other thing was having a beauty campaign that went worldwide, mm. uh, and so that was really a, a major. The other I mean, the other thing as a model is doing the Valentino show, so that yeah. was really oh, big. Yeah. No, I know um, that was a totally loaded oh, question. Was, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, as far as being uh, acting, I, I, I was in the acting business for a very short time, but you know, the Never Ending Story Part Two was a great kid for movies, uh, a movie for awesome. kids, I love and it. and that was translated into like seventeen different languages all over the world, and it's it's got cult status today. So oh, I've got this guy that's got he's got me painted across his van in Connecticut. His name is Joe Kennedy. <laughs> hey, hey, Joe, and uh, so he, yeah, Joe a, yeah, shout out to Joe. And so there's you know that was a lot of fun, but I think one of the the crowning the crowning moments were really you know I think for me was being called in by the Vatican to be, you know, uh, you know, to have the huh. private audience awesome with the Pope. Yeah. yeah. I had two our private audiences with Pope John Paul for my social work, which was very, very, That's very awesome. special. Um, and I was the first American to be, uh, to be, um, uh, to, to be, to, to present at the Kremlin. In other words, Americans weren't allowed really in, 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 into that space. And I, don't know, if, I don't know if Americans are allowed there now. Either. I know, I know. <laughs> but now I'm talking about 1999, right after the wall fell, and so that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, but with the really cra- the real crowning moment was when I was still living in Italy, and, and 9/11 happened, and I was sort of the you know the American flag bearer for that country for for a while, and um, and it was very touching to see how how people rallied around me. Uh, and that was a crowning moment because they 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 really uh, made me feel that the work that I had been doing there in their country for right. so many years was they showed me just a lot of love and that was very special well you know all of those things that you're discussing are mm. extremely awesome and uh, you know you, you, you talked about your magazine covers uh, before the interview throughout the week I had been kind of uh, <laughs> doing some research and looking online and if you go look at all of your magazine covers in chronological order <laughs> it's actually really cool because you can see this you see uh, how much more weight I gained over well, the years no, no you see you see this uh, like the dress design shift yeah. from you know certain time yeah. frames and and what people were wearing right. and then you look back at it and I'm like people really wore that in the 80s hey you yeah right right slow Knock it, it down. off slow you. it down that's right back off but, hey, it was it was fashion for the <laughs> time it was that's so. what i mean it was it's, fashion it's for the time good, right. it was really cool to kind of see that uh, that progression and how yeah. stuff did you catch the picture or i was blonde for a week did, <laughs> did you catch that picture yeah, too i, I was <laughs> i opened up disney in paris for uh, rye television and for italian television and they sent me over because you know a lot of i got a lot of the gigs because i spoke both of the languages right and so um i met you know everybody i mean whitney houston you name it i every everybody that came through italy i would I, you know, I got to meet, which was really, really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and so I got to meet Minnie and Mickey uh, at, at Disneyland in don't, Paris. Don't, don't say that. My daughter's Minnie listening. She <laughs> <gets it. laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's been a good, it's been a good time, but a great, great, great time, and uh, and I can't wait to get started here, you guys, because we are going to rock it. We are going to have such a ball. We have yeah. so much fun. You know, we're going to come back uh, in a couple of minutes after we take a commercial break here, mm-hmm. and we'll come back with more for uh, from Clarissa Bird on Finding Your Frequency. And, of course, go check us out on social media. Go to the fan page, uh, facebook.com forward slash Finding Your Frequency Net, of course, at Radio Ryan 1, at Jeff Spinney 2. We're here with Clarissa Burt. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back right after these messages. <laughs> and welcome back to Finding Your Frequency. I'm your host, Jeff Spinard. I'm your co-host, Ryan Treasure, and welcome back. Go check out the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Finding Your Frequency Net. We're here with our fantastic guest, Clarissa Burt. Miss mm-hmm. Clarissa Burt yes, in the house. in the house. Representing, baby. <laughs> yes, Representing. absolutely. I got a question. Okay, Uh what advice would you give to young women that are aspiring as models or actresses or even entrepreneurs 
in one sentence? Well, both of those are entrepreneurs in okay, a sense, right? So a model and an, uh, and an actress are entrepreneurs. They just happen to be represented, if they're lucky, <laughs> by an agent. True. And so uh, the, the advice is um, be tenacious, be professional, treat it as a job. You know, as it as you know, be serious about it. If you're serious, and and a lot of people are, the, you know, the illusion that to act and to model, you don't have to study. It just kind of you know happens, and that does happen for one in a billion. Yeah, that. You know, I mean, the city like it wouldn't yeah, be that easy, yeah, though. I, well, you know, it's not that easy to get into the business, right. and the, the, you know, the, the competition is fierce, mm. uh, and you never know what they're looking for. That's the other thing. And if you are not into rejection. Don't bother. Right. Because, you know, I mean, how many times I, I went on a, a, a go see and I was too tall, I was too small, I was too short, I was too thin, I was mm. too heavy, and my eyes weren't blue enough. I, you know, every, the result, you never know what they're looking for. So they make it feel, they make you feel like it's your fault. It's when, like, you know, you just have to, you just have to understand that that's, that's, you know, that's part of the game. Right. And, and, uh, and so that's really, you know, don't take it personally. Uh, buck up. You know, don't worry about, you know, learn about dealing with rejection first and foremost. Just, you know, be professional. Uh, the girls that are going online today, they find jobs. You know, you really, really have to be very, very careful mm -hmm. about what's going on. The, the various model mayhems and the model scouts and different, you know, just different, you know, uh, people. You know, an agent helps you filter also. Right. They act for your legalities and they act, to, you know, to filter out. Mm. Uh, the scum of the earth, quite right. frankly. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't now, have another phrase. You've got worldly experience. How much time did you actually spend in Hollywood? Do you spend much time in Hollywood? Uh, I lived out in uh, Los Angeles for five years. Okay. And uh, and so I just came back here to Phoenix two years ago um, only because I just – my family's here and I love it here. And quite right. frankly, yes. I just didn't really – I'm a New Yorker. We're East Coasters. I'm an East Coaster. Right. It just runs through my veins. I want to be back in New York. But and I thank Los Angeles for the five years that, you know, it accepted <laughs> right. me. Enough, it though. accepted me, but that was enough. It was right. really I, I realized that it just wasn't my place and it wasn't my pace. So um, you know, I I'm an East Coaster and I I'd I'd really like to get back to New York. ASAP. Right. Well, there you go. <laughs> hey, Who's Voice been, America, New York. Uh, there we How's go. How's that sound? You know what? Sounds that great. sounds great. I know. And, Let's you know, do it. Let's talk we'll about have it. satellite offices all over Let's the world. Let's do it, you darling. Know, that's, that's definitely in the plan. Okay. But we're already global, so I know you that's, are. that's the big plus. I know. But we're going to build up. Well, let's become universal. But that, uh, what was uh, <laughs> We were in space, even. So. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> went, <laughs> we went galactic. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait for me. Yeah, we got a message from the space station. Yeah. No. On, on Facebook yep. that was like, hey, I just want you guys to know what? that the show that we're listening to on Voice what? America Variety Channel hey. is awesome. Tell uh, them uh, to uh. ask this uh, question. I want your autograph. And I was like, wow. I do. See that? I want yeah. your autographs. I, I just thought sign, of sign I, pictures. I don't even remember what show was on at the time that they Dang. were listening to, but just the fact that somebody in space was listening that to Voice really America. That is really cool. Of all of the things that yeah. they could be listening it's to like in space. Intergalactic, yeah, I yeah, like awesome. We've gone galactic. We've <laughs> <Fourth laughs> gone galactic. So who's been your most inspiring person that you've met in your career? Who, did I, who inspired you? Who inspired me? Uh, apart from my grandmother, who I just absolutely adored, one of the most lovely ladies on the planet who's, you know, in intergalactic space right now. Um, gosh, you know, I really, I really, really did kind of dig the Pope. And I – he was just great. And right. so that was really cool. Um, you know, I had a fantastic – you know, one of my idols was uh, – believe it or not, is, um, is uh, Dionne Warwick. And I just yeah, happened to love her her and the Burt Backrack years. I mean, you're too young. You guys are too young to remember all this stuff. But, you know, in the 60s, well, they, they – you will yeah, believe me. I'll be 50. I'll be 58 next month, guys. I've I, I got a whole decade God or more on you. you. Yeah. My God. Yes, darling. Yes, indeed, darling. I could um, be your mother. Uh, but, <laughs> and I could be your well, grandmother. Well, right now you look oh, like no, my no. sister. Oh, well, there so, you go. You know. my, so, my mother's 68. Oh, is she? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right then. Anyway, so Dionne Warwick was just lovely. I yeah. just really, she was one of those ladies that I just really, really absolutely adored. You know, I love meeting Ariana Huffington. I found she was just a, she's a fascinating woman who um, has got her head, you know, really right in the right, in the right place. Looking forward to meeting Oprah one day and, you know, um, mm -hmm. and I just really like to think that, you know, I, I always have tongue in cheek, uh, have mm -hmm. sort of said Oprah, Martha, Clarissa. So that like you know, there it. you go, right? Because they have flow. their they have their media groups and they have their television, their radio, and their magazines, well, and that's we, exactly what I'm. We have on. a host on one of our channels that does a uh, a promotional piece for the Oprah's Super Soul Sundays oh, that nice. she has. So um, we know the producer for that. So I think once we get rolling, we'll That'd get in really contact cool. with them and get that That'd ball be really, get really that cool. started because we got to make that happen. We have to make that yeah, happen absolutely. because I absolutely I really just think that you know these are very very strong women that that have oh, yeah. you know really changed. 
changed the you know the face of society. Some and, of the and most somebody, influential yeah, women in, most influential. in pop culture yeah. in the last absolutely. 50 years. Absolutely. So I think influencers should be interviewing influencers. Abs- influencers. Don't you think? <laughs> hey, check Don't that you out. Think? It's funny. You we know, were just talking about influencers, influencers influencing influencers. There you go. So, no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I can't so bring that, any that actually gets me to my next question of yes. what's next, which is... <clears throat> Influencers I channel. know the influencers <laughs> channel, which I'm so excited about. Yeah. I really am thrilled about. What kind of thought? What, what kind of thought you have you put into it so far? Well, yeah, absolutely. Because you know, my whole you know again, you know, I'm not saying you know we, we love our guys. We <coughs> absolutely I love guys, sure. but I really feel as though there's there's a great place and a, as I said before, a great space for me to step in for women and young girls. You know, mm-hmm. in, in the whole absolutely. arena, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yesterday, I was brought into the board of um, of something called the t- uh, the Teen Mentor. Mm-hmm. So she's in Philly. This lady, she's you know. And she said, would you please be one of my influence? Absolutely. Uh, I'm also, I don't know if you know I Dina Patton here in town with the Girls Rule Foundation. Yep. And yeah, I could be here forever talking to you about all the you know different um, uh, right. foundations and organizations that I support uh, when it comes to women and, and young girls. So you, yeah, we're going to be talking about everything that helps you look better, feel awesome. better, be better, and live a greater good. And there's a lot, in it, and I, I think I've come up with a name, but I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to get hey, off the air. You, you can save that. <laughs> save, you don't have to give it all today. Uh, yeah, yeah some of, these guys are going to have to come to the website and look for the press release, right? So then when we send that out, we'll divulge it at that time Absolutely. rather than now yeah. because we got a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of Lincoln Logs to place uh, mm-hmm. together first before we get too crazy well, on all yeah, the Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. You know, I've got about maybe half of the influencers already you know in, in place. lockdown I know you do and they're amazing um, now the search you know I've got to vet all over the con- all over right. the world you right. know it's you know I, I found a nice pool to, right. to, to, to swim in for a little while right but now it's really reaching out because a lot of people are very interested in what what's going on here well what are you looking for in the influencer let's put it, that out there well it's very simple uh, it's influencers influencing influencers in mm-hmm. other words you have to have you know carry yourself or or be somebody that people aspire to mm-hmm. be. Okay. But on the flip side of that, you have to be doing some good in this world. Exactly. You know, I'm not looking for well. I don't know if I want to say exactly what well, I was just going to say, but yeah, it's like you want you want people that have a large following, but you don't want them to have Be the jerks. type of cult following right. that doesn't say, fall you know, into yeah. right. the realm of you know being positively <laughs> influencer, right? Because there's a lot of people on social media that have you know six, sure. seven, eight million followers, but right. the only reason they For have the that is because they're a mess, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We, that, we, that's right. what we don't want. Yeah, you know, it's all got to be positive right. influence. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Those are the influenzas. <laughs> the influenza is right. The influenza. I've met some influenzas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's like the, that's like the take, take me outside girl, right? Yeah. Right. So that those outside. are the types of people we yeah, don't exactly. want. Exactly. <laughs> take me outside. So you want some really cool people yes. that are making a difference that people look up to and aspire to. Correct. I think one of our next things that Jeff and I want to do that Jeff and I spoke about at the last event is we kind of, you know, did our thing in the in the in Los Angeles right on the West Coast side for the influencers piece and yeah, think, I was sorry I couldn't yeah, be there. Yeah, and I think one of the things that we need to do is go and make some of those same types of connections on the East Coast in New York City. Let's do it. Right? And then I want to go worldwide by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. East Coast yes is next step, but Let's you know, it. I want to hit I mean, European market. Yeah. I mean, I this Several places I'd like to Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, speaking of, you know, uh, the influencers channel, you're speaking at some some nice events uh, uh, around the country. Absolutely. Here. Uh, what do you got going on there? Well, the next thing I think I've got coming up is a secret knock. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, with Greg, you know Greg so really Greg well. Reed, you know, Greg, I've been, Greg I was be grandmothered in, you know, <laughs> years ago. I mean, I think I was really one of the first knockers. Sorry, that's what we call ourselves. Like it, right? Right? Secret knockers. knockers right? We call our the girls, we call ourselves the knockers. And uh, and so it. I was one of the Love first it. ones to jump on board there. And I've been, you know, faithfully, you know, following along ever since. And I absolutely adore Greg and what he does and what he stands for. Very and the people guy, yeah. and the people that show up at his events are top notch and uh and i'm you know i've earned now at this point i get uh stage time at this and i was really happy about that Love so it. we're i'm also organizing a trip to italy so there's there's mm. a lot of the uh secret knockers that are going to be coming along to italy with me in september which is really cool wow. and we're going to be doing about a nine-day trip and uh and uh, you know if they come with me they get an award so they win you know they get to win an international right. award and uh and that's really really cool 
And so, yeah, that's awesome. That's that's the next thing. Is, that's it, is up. it some kind of speaking event in Italy? Or it's what? an event that I will organize, okay. and it's a, it's a it's an award. Nice. So it's the uh, uh, International Entrepreneurial uh, Entrepreneurial Award, and I've got it You're all lined up. You're taking your camera, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm taking you with the I camera. I was going to say, right. yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I can travel anywhere uh, in the world except for Canada. Uh, 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 yeah, uh. and so I get us, you know, I get us into the, like I said, get us into the Vatican. Right. You know, the, the Rotary International's waiting for that us. So the, awesome. You know, the Italian uh, 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 American uh, Foundation's waiting for us. They're going to take us through all through Parliament. I mean, I got it's. You know, I got my girls onto the Pope's right. balcony the last oh, time I got there. That. Nobody goes Who's on got the Pope's balcony. Kind of I do. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ryan, I think we're coming up on yeah, break. Sure here. Show. <laughs> you guys, we're here with That's the fantastic awesome. Clarissa Bird, just a fantastic person, great human, fantastic. and always, uh, always helping out uh, the the women's community. And of course, we're excited to have a radio show launching on May second on the new Influencers Channel. Uh, go check out the uh, Frequency Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Finding of Frequency Net. And of course, you can follow us on Twitter at Radio Ryan 1, at Jeff Spinney 2. We'll be right back with some more right after these messages on Finding Your Frequency. And welcome back to Finding Your Frequency. <laughs> I'm your host, Jeff Spinard. And I'm your co-host, Ryan Treasure, not missing my cue this time. There you time. go. That was beautiful. <laughs> Came right in. And we are with the lovely, beautiful Miss Clarissa Burt. Yes, you are. You know, <laughs> we also have a special uh, guest uh, on the phone with us. Yes, we sure do. Uh, Mr. Christopher Conlon, our executive producer. Woohoo! What's happening, Chris? To be honest with you, your dog is driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks know, for I'd that like to, intel. You know, I'm, I'm just about to teach her how to be the mascot for the show. <laughs> awesome. Her voice and she starts wow, wow, wowing. We have to dress her up with Yeah, we'll have to dress her up with the frequency bolt, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, right now yeah. I want to dress her up with some, uh, you know, cilantro. <laughs> well, you know, we're we're on live with Enough Clarissa Burr, right? right? We're we're uh, we're, we're talking with her about the radio show, the influencers channel, and all of those fantastic things that we have coming up. Did you have a question for her? Yes, um, I need her to do the first live television signing for Voice America influencers. Oh, okay, uh, let's do it. Do, I know, do, but is there a cool pen? I'm, of so course cool there pen. is. There's a pen that writes. Yeah, is that okay? watch and listen and talk at the same time. I'm not that okay. You know, Clarissa <laughs> brought in her magazine, uh, it's the Discover magazine, yes. you know, the best of uh, 2016. Which means with in 2017, that, I'm not much money. <laughs> 2016, I was pretty damn cool. But it's because they're gearing 2017, up. They're, they're, they're gearing up <laughs> for we're, only, we're only in March, so there's okay. plenty of 2017 okay. left. Uh, so with the magazine, them. she brought Shut a beautiful it. pen in, so. Right. Oh yeah, Show. of course. Yeah, We're on here t- is the uh, the magazine. Yes. See that? Woo-hoo. Yeah. Thanks to Jody Wilson. Hey, She's my good friend yeah. that edits that magazine and owns awesome. that magazine. Yeah. Well, okay. Good old Jody. Yeah. Awesome. Is that a local magazine here? It for, is. From Phoenix. It's a local awesome. magazine. Discover the region. Discover the, and Phoenix, 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 Phoenix region. region. Right. Love it. Right. And there's because you know this three is or four this is my hometown, inside. so I'm the all the developer about it. network for women. That's right. I love it. Ten the developer network, but now I'm on Voice America network. There we go. So I can't. Do both. Uh, and you're going to be doing a, a live TV show, yes. and you're going to be on the Influence Channel. Yes, so I am. we got a lot of big things planned for Voice America. So I'm really excited to work with you. Thank you. Thanks. Good stuff. Chris, Thank I'm sorry. You, 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 you oh, were signing. signing on the line that's dotted, man. i got to get this stuff into All right, production. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. there. We're having, we're yeah, having some conversation right now. Same time. Do you have that one? By the way, that where's my there? email you're supposed to be sending me for the last two weeks? Chris. Be mine? Yeah. That would be. Oh, well. <laughs> He's sending it right That's now. What the, the word from the like top all is women. the word from the top <laughs> is you better with st- age. It's like Black the email it. I'm going to send you. Black it keeps it. getting better. Wait till you see it. Okay, here uh, is the here is the, the contract. Uh, May 2nd, Tuesdays from noon to 1. I believe that's right. Uh, Clarissa Burt on the yes. Influencers channel. Please, that's right. please sign all here. All right, I will. In blood or cool oh, you pen. have a pen? Okay. Cool pen. <laughs> All right, guys, you're witnessing it live. There it is, live. Signing the first agreement uh, for the Influencers Channel right here live on Finding Your Frequency. That is a beautiful signature. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. 
It is signed. <laughs> Wait, no applause? Nothing? <laughs> I get no applause? Oh, all right then. Okay, there you go. Yes. Uh, I'm yes. Talking. Now you're talking. And there Aaron, it is. Aaron, don't we have some applause on the sound effects over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you we got to What kind of radio thing. station is this? Yeah. Oh, he's got it. We have them. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, you got to know when to hit that button. <laughs> we'll make you sure we have that the button. Up. Just put it right next to me. Uh, yeah. I have That's no what I wanted. It. I wanted it right here so I could play <laughs> with the noises. Just push the damn thing anytime you want. Instant replay. Play. Did you hear that? Right, you guys listening? We need a we need an instant replay right here in the studio. So send us one. Yeah, <laughs> golly. So what you, what what do your days look like? What, what's going on? Right now we're just working on all the different things that are coming yeah. out. You know, I'm doing an, an, an organic chocolate line that'll be infused. Oh, that's so good. Oh yeah, it's so good. So this chocolate's really amazing, and it's sugar free because I have to eat sugar free right. now because I'm like pre diabetic. Yes, that happens when you you know my you too. Oh, yeah. And then so it's sugar free and all kinds of lovely stuff. And then we're making. I just came from a meeting now with the, the non toxic cream lines so Clarissa's coming out with you know creams that are non-toxic and nice. you know you have no idea how how sick we're making ourselves from the products that we're using and yeah. whether they be you know the cleaning products we're using at home or the you know the things that we're putting on our on our bodies men and right. you know men and women and babies did you know I, I probably shouldn't say this I could probably get sued <laughs> anyway one of the anyway there's just you, you there are a lot of toxins in the products that we're using right. and I'm starting to make a lot of things at home uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of that here Awesome. Uh, on on the TV when right. we're ready to rock and roll, so I can teach people how to be healthier. Uh, uh, lots of really fun, easy recipes and easy things to do. You you have no idea. You save a lot of money, and it's absolutely uh, much healthier for you. And that's you. awesome because we are going to have a segment on the show now dedicated to health because Good. obviously I need to get healthy. Right. Uh, so you know, maybe we'll uh, talk really to you about cool. some of your recipes. I would love to. I would love to do, anything you know, collaborate to help. with you. All right, good for good. sure. Yeah, before um, the show, Jeff and I were talking, and uh, today was the day that we were going to start you on the new path. Yeah. Uh, right after the show will be the you know like day one of pretty much. Yeah. Uh, this is a whole weight loss. Uh, what is it? Get healthy. Uh, it's been what a special is what? special this diet is be a or segment. Oh, uh, I really haven't uh, decided p- the Purium product. Is um, I'm expecting a delivery. So once oh, I cool. get that, actually starts the process. I see. You know, it's the, the whole cleanse, but it's all it's uh, all natural products right. that you know will help adjust my metabolism. Right. Just get things working the way they're supposed to. Right. Uh, and then of course I have to work on the, the working eating out. habits and all that. Working out will be part. Are of Are you it. doing this under your doctor's supervision? Uh, I will be. Okay. Good. <laughs> and what about? Well, you know, I, uh, one thing at a time. Okay, that's yeah, good. that's good. That's good to go. Uh, it's gotta go. The uh, the the silence there was. Uh, I am a. I enjoy a smoky treat every now and then. <laughs> yes, <now>. you do. <laughs> you know, I did smoke for twenty five years. <clears throat> I smoked for twenty five years, and by the time I was thirty nine, yeah, yeah, I went cold turkey. I think everybody, everybody in was, Europe smokes. Yeah, and, but I started <laughs> as a really kid. I started as I was like twelve when I started because yeah. I wanted to be old. I wanted I to look 13, cool. Right. I wanted to be old. You know, and um, and now I. Would not like to be older, but anyway, the story is, um, you know, you just go cold turkey, right. and it's hard, and you can do it. You can do anything, and it's uh, when you realize that every cigarette you're not smoking is that one. It's one step closer to health, and a healthy body, and yeah, a healthy mind. Right. Uh, then you know it kind of makes it easier. It really does, and it'll make my bank account healthy. Absolutely, too, because yeah, they're a lot of money expensive, on aren't they? <laughs> These, oh, yeah. What does it cost now for a pack? It's like seventy dollars for a, a carton are of cigarettes. Are you kidding no, me? No, I kid you not. Seventy dollars. It, it, it depends on where yeah. you are. Like Woo. when we travel, you know, when yeah. we get outside of here, and you get into wow. like uh, other places, the they're East like Coast, eight, like a hundred dollars for a carton. Yeah, they're like wow. ten dollars or more. I think a pack. I stopped when they were a dollar twenty-five. You know. Pack. I That's was going to stop when they hit three, but... You know. I used to smoke Moors. Remember those long brown <laughs> Yeah, the long brown ones. I used to steal those from my uh, friend's yes, mother. <laughs> yeah, I used to smoke those yeah. back in the 70s. They were they're really They're like Virginia, exactly, they're like Virginia right. Slims. Whatever, Virginia yeah, Slims yeah. was my mother. Except they were, yep. And then they I went to Merritt. The I think I went to Marlboro Lights Merit. and then Merritt. Merit. Yeah. Merritt's a pretty good, pretty good cigarette. That's what my, that's what my, my father, father, mother used to smoke. Tarotin, that which is not the even, worst cigarette I've ever smoked. You can't say a good cigarette. There is no good cigarette. What the heck was that? That was a good cigarette. Okay, all right. You but I gotta point, say, I loved every cigarette I ever smoked, but it didn't go. love me back. So 
You know, I was just glad to get That's rid of point. it. Well, if something good doesn't point. love you back, you have to let it go. Got to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're getting uh, uh, close to that time of the program. Uh, one of the things so fast. It, it, too fast. We could do two hours today, I think. <laughs> you know, definitely, Clarissa. So amazing. It's great to have <laughs> yeah, you on. Yeah, very excited Thanks. to have Clarissa as yeah. part of the Thanks, she's guys. part of the family now. Yeah, so yeah. we got a lot you. to do. Yeah, we so, do. Clarissa, uh, your website is clarissabert.com. Yes, it is. That's where people can go find out what Clarissa is up to. That's follow right. her on social media as well, and look at some of the speaking engagements. He's doing worldwide. And of mm-hmm. course, uh, we're going to be bringing another fantastic show to the airwaves next week on Finding Your Frequency. And I'm not dropping any names or anything, but it'll be cool. Okay. If you don't come and listen to the show, I'm going to send our hit, I'm going to send our uh, Jeff's hitman after you. I don't even know. Who is it? Who is it? Who? I can't say. Who is it? I can't I don't say. Even know Just yet. whisper in my ear. Tell me. <laughs> it's a person. Come with on. Influence. Oh, darn it. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today. This was a fantastic show with Miss Clarissa Burt. Yeah, Ryan, why don't you take us out? You guys, check us out on social media at Voice America, uh, live internet talk radio on Facebook, and, of course, Facebook.com forward slash Finding a Frequency Net. You can go check out the website, FindingAFrequency.com, JeffSpinard.com, and then, of course, we're all up on Twitter at Radio Ryan 1, at Jeff Spinney 2. And, of course, next week we'll be right here at the same place, Voice America Variety, 2 p.m. Pacific, Right here on Voice America, finding a frequency. See you next Stay week. Stay tuned.